first stage is probably the most boring stage. You really have to do your planning and preparation. And it's really the stage where you have to assess the space, you know, see if there's any problems with the room. Does it have low ceilings, a lack of natural light? If you want a really unique room, we're trying to find something that's going to be the star piece of the room. So what you can do is hopefully that will have a lot of colour and texture and pattern in it. And then you can pull the colours from, say, in this room, I chose my paintings first and then I pull the colours from that painting and I might introduce it into the colour of the sofa or the rug, patterns in the, in the painting I might pull into the fabrics for the cushion. And it's, it's important to me that that interior is going to look good in five years time so I don't want to have the sofa falling apart or the rug wearing through or the floor scratching because that's not going to be the perfect space for the client if that happens. A lot of spaces in London, for example, can be quite dark. They tend to be quite narrow, dark rooms. Um, and quite often people will tend to try and overcompensate for that and try and to make a dark space a bright space. Whereas I tend to go with the darkness and emphasise that. So I might use a dark wall covering, um, have some dimmed lights and make it a cosy, inviting space rather than try and fight against what the room naturally is. Go with it and emphasise it. Lighting for me is so important, it's going to make or break the room and I think the one mistake people make with lighting is they try and A, plan their lighting far too early on in the scheme, you know, you shouldn't design your lighting layout until you know absolutely everything that's going to be in your room, you should know where your sofas are going to go, what size they are, know what art you're going to use in your wall, what size it is, where it's going to be positioned because what that's going to allow you to do is emphasise the bits in the room that you want to emphasise. So if I've used a textured wall covering, I'll make sure I put down lighters that flood light onto that wall covering and it really highlights that texture and makes the most of it. My Lux halves are number one. I have an obsession with Hermes Avalon blanket. Anything cashmere, I'm obsessed with cashmere. My other Lux have is fresh flowers. Um, I have a lot of faux flowers in my house, but then nothing beats um, real flowers too. I'm obsessed with scented candles. I like to have a variety of different sizes. Um, my favourite ones are the oversized ones that have four or five wicks. Um, I love the smell and I just think they're a beautiful accessory. You know, I use them on my coffee tables, my bedside tables. I tend to have them all over my house.